It's a big year on the set of Australian Idol with big name guest judges including Delta Goodrum, Lady Gaga, Susie Quattro and Brian McFadden and we're not even close to picking a winner. There are only 11 left ready to take the Idol stage this Sunday night in the new time slot of 7.30. Four of those still in the race are Kate Cook, Kim Cooper, Scott Newnham and Nathan Brake and they join us from Sydney. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Hey. Good hey morning. Guys. Hey guys. How's the experience for you? You've obviously... Um, watched the show in the past, some of you have even auditioned before. How's the experience? Is it different to what you expected from watching it? Yeah, that's for sure, mate. It's different to put your gumboots every day and going to work. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a great experience. We're enjoying it, eh? Big time. It's mad. Can you, well, Kate, since, you, since we've got you there, um, can you explain to Kim here the, uh, what's so good about country music? <laughs> oh, but you don't sing dang-a-dang-dang-dang. No. Mate, the, the, uh, the stories behind country music, it's down to earth stuff. Look, it, we pour our, um, our hearts out into our music and it's, it's beautiful stuff, mate. Get into it, Kimmy. Well, you're a Lowood girl, so I love you. I love, I've been to Lowood. Have you? Yeah. Slowwood. Crack up, Slowwood. Slowwood, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a beautiful little town, eh? I miss it. I miss it a lot. Is, is it hard for you, Kate, because you're not the stereotypical kind of, you know, girly girl. Is it is it hard for you when they try to put you in, you know, mini skirts and high-heeled shoes? They haven't tried yet. They, uh, they got me in the high heels the other day. It was a crack up. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, no, um, it was it was a weird experience. But no, it was good fun. But I had to draw the line at the nail nail polish. It was, uh, <laughs> it was a bit too much. I had to draw the line there. But no, we had some fun. But look, they won't change me, mate. I'm a country bumpkin and uh, that's who I am. And yeah, I'm just going to be myself, mate, and see and, how I go. And we love you just the way you are. Now, Nathan, <laughs> speaking of loving you, I, I do love a tradie. Oh, oh, sorry, Scott, sorry, Scott. Scott, 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 I'm looking at you, Scott, and I'm thinking... Nathan's Nathan. not a tradie. No, 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 Scotty, you're the, you're the tradie, and you're the one that... I, I couldn't believe your story. We, just to background, if you haven't seen Idol, Scott had literally not sung before. No one... No, his parents didn't even know that he was a singer. Yeah. When did you realise that you could sing? Um... I'm not really sure. I was just um, in the shower and singing in the car. I thought I sounded all right singing with the... Um, with the CD player and in the shower and that and then I just tried out for Idol and they said I could sing so <laughs> that's I guess when I found out when I got onto Idol but apart from that you know just yeah how's it, how, how's I'm still it? really crap with uh, interviews as well as you can say. <laughs> that's right <laughs> so am I oh, <laughs> how's it changed how's it changed your voice I mean what have you learnt in terms of singing um I've learned how to do falsetto and vibrato and all just these crazy terms of singing but um just learn how to use my voice better in my way. And and who's who's been your favourite guest judge so far, Scott? Um, probably Brian McFadden because we're more similar and we we are. He's just like one of the boys from the footy club and he's just taught me how to put emotion into a song because I haven't been singing long enough to know how to put emotion into a song. Right. So right. having him there to help me has been really good. Kim, I know that you've been um, working with a vocal coach for what at least eighteen months prior to this. Yeah. What difference does does working with a professional teacher make? Um, I think it teaches you so much. Um, I was lucky my vocal coach was able to sort of educate me on so much more than just um, singing sort of day-to-day -day scales. Um, she sort of taught me how to live life as a singer rather than just someone who likes to sing. So um, I was lucky, yeah, she educated me on everything, you know, not just how to hit this note or how to hit that note. And look, and I, I'm guessing, Kim, that you're probably going to be better prepared for than, than, than some of the other contestants, better prepared for some of the intense publicity because sometimes it does get a bit negative and I know that in the past you've had your own problems with bullying. Yeah, um, I think, you know, you learn how to take a few hard knocks um, when you're not always treated like a princess all your life and people don't, you know, always treat you the way that you probably deserve to be treated. So I think um, sometimes that happens with the general public and if you can learn to manage that on a small scale, like at high school or even out of school, like I have, then um, when it happens to you on a big scale, you might have the tools to sort of cope with it more. So That's right. fingers crossed for that. <laughs> that's right. And it's all about having the tools to cope. Well mm. said. Yeah, but that's it. Nathan, you're one of the youngest. How's this been for you? And I'd like to talk to you particularly about your interest in uh, Queen. Where does the interest in Queen the band come from? <laughs> um, well, uh, growing up from a little, um, yeah, when I was little, my grandma and grandpa used to chuck Queen on on the radio and I was in my walker and I used to dance around in my walker and <laughs> sing along to it. So I've yeah, pretty much grown up with the band. And, Your grandparents, yeah, that's they're pretty so much cool. Yeah, they, they are pretty cool. <laughs> and how are they are, are they are they still with us, so to speak? How are they responding to what you're going through now? 
Oh, they're so proud. They're over the moon. Um, yeah, just getting so much support from them and the rest of my family. And yeah, I'm really lucky to be where I am and so young and have this opportunity to get out there and live my dream. I'm really grateful. Last week, uh, Susie Quattro was on the show. There was a rock week. What was it like? What, what kind of advice did she give you and did you find it helpful? Um, yeah, I, it was a really intense session for me. She re I really felt like she got into me and helped me find I had a lot of stuff about myself. Um, yeah, she made me go away and think about a lot of stuff and it was a whirlwind of emotions after meeting her and it, it's such a weird experience. If, if you're ever lucky enough to meet someone that's like Suzy Quattro, mm. it's, it's kind of like she looks into your soul mm. and it's something that I'd never experienced and yeah, it, help, it helped me a lot and helped me with my performance as well, which I'm so grateful for and she's a great, great lady. Yeah, Kim, you're nodding in agreement there. Yeah, oh, she, um, I can't describe what it was like meeting her. I think when you meet sort of famous people, you try and just tell yourself that they're just like everyone else, they're just normal people, but Susie Quattro is just not a normal person. She's a gift for, um, for being able to read and connect with people that is just like, her soul's been here before. She's, um, yeah, meeting her is, was an absolute honour to meet someone who's like that. She, um, yeah. Fantastic. Without sounding like a bit of a, a suck, she's, yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's great to hear. Look, uh, this Sunday night, uh, the theme is Australian rock songs that have been in the top ten. Uh, do you get to tune your, choose your own songs? Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, every week we sort of have um, large control over what songs we sing, so I think this week's good. It gets people to sort of get into their own genre a bit, so yeah. I know we're all really excited. What yeah. songs are you each singing? I'm, I'm doing Landslide by the Dixie Chicks, so uh, oh, it'll be nice one. soft soft side of me, mate. They're coming out this weekend. So I actually like that I'm song. Pull... Yeah, well, I'm going to pour <laughs> my heart out in it too, so make sure you tune it in. <laughs> what about you, Scott? I'm singing Kiss From Her Eyes by Seal. Ooh, that's oh, a, that's a big, big song, song to sing, isn't it? Mm. Oh, that's yeah, another, I love that's, it. That's one of my yeah. favourite songs ever. It's a really tough song to sing. Don't get nervous about it, will Kim you? Kim and Nathan, quickly, we're out of <laughs> time. <laughs> I've been, I've been practicing a lot, so it's, it's all good. Yeah, Kim um, and Nathan. I'm doing a song by, uh, yeah, a song by Lady Gaga. So stepping my performance up a bit this week. Bit of pressure on myself to nail my performance. I think. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm doing yeah? Um, Since, You've Been, Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. Oh wow, there you go. Well, big one. Been gone. All right. Well, look. Good luck to all of you. you. Go from 11 down to 10 this Thank week you. in the judging. We hope that none of you go. We hope you all stay. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks a lot. So much. Thank you.